I guess it's time for me to get to work. So far behind, and we've got so much to do. Let's get to it. Literally haven't done anything with the rear end. Got the gears in, got a new track bar over there. We got the coilovers back from Viking. They checked them out. Like I said in a previous video, they found a short spring. So they hooked us up with springs on that. And um, some wheelie skis. Got new wheelie skis because the other ones just weren't cutting it off the car anymore. So got to put that stuff in. What's in here? Oh yeah, the black body. Uh, got to put that stuff in and we made a decision. We're gonna delete the e-brake stuff Everyone uh, said delete it. So that's what we're gonna do relocate the handle to the center console and uh, get this thing back on the ground set again they both match I measured them from the top to the base here so we got two coilovers ready another one's over there ready to go on cleaned up my ARB bar that's ready good good to go the rear end housing is in just need to tie up the rest like the control arm stab the axle put the coilovers on do the ARB bar put the brakes on etc etc I went ahead and removed the uh, e-brake cables and then the rest is inside for the for the e-brake delete. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now that is a pain in the butt. Even with the rear end out, I can't imagine with with everything inside of it how pain in the ass that can be, but it's it's a pain. But we got it done. So let's uh let's wrap this up and we can uh continue on. Alright, so we got everything just about pretty much wrapped up. Bear with me here. On the other side. we had the rear end out I went ahead and added this collar sensor collar and sensor for uh, drive shaft speed so we can data data log mile per hour go ahead and measure converter slip when we add the front wheel sensor I'll also use it for traction control so a uh, big piece uh, that I've been lacking that I've been meaning to put on here this is only a four magnet collar because unfortunately I don't know why but I cannot find the right size collar for this yoke in anything but a four magnet. So it is what it is. We're only able to use four magnet and uh, that's it. So we're gonna put this together and uh, get this car on the ground. So everything's connected, the rear end is in, the coilovers are good to go, that's done. 
Uh, took the e-brake, all the e-brake stuff off, the handles over there as you can see. Um, so all the e-brake stuff is gone off the car. Only thing left to do is just a little bit of wiring down here as you can see. Um, this is this is the pigtail that goes uh, to the drive shaft speed sensor. Then I'm going to clean up all my steering wheel connectors and uh, change that setup. Playing with Andy's smooth stage bump feature, um, I, I like it and I think I'm going to end up getting one um, for this car because it's easier. You can adjust it on the fly if you need to. Um, it's just, I think it's, it's better. Okay, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the wiring and stuff. I'm going to do that uh, on a... I'm gonna do that by myself later on. Some things we got to accomplish here in the next couple of days. Number one, I'm working on a side project that I haven't showed you guys yet. It's going to be a surprise. Number two, um, I'm going to take the car over to my buddy Solomon's shop, put it up in the air, and change out the valve body. And that will, that's going to probably be this coming weekend. Uh, number three, after that, do the alignment. And then as long as everything goes well with those two things, we are going to be testing either that following weekend or sometime, some, sometime close to that date. Uh, like I said, as long as everything else goes good. Okay, a couple updates real quick. Um, I'm going to get with, this week, I'm going to get with Matt, the Coyote Swap Trans Am. Anytime you uh, need a loaner or they're like tune up or anything with the car, they come and pick it up, drop it off, get you a But that's, <laughs> that's 28 right there. And uh, do an update video on his build. He has been getting tons of traction. The car is look. The car is actually over at James K shop. If you don't know who James K is, you have not been paying attention. But he is his car's over there, and it's been getting a lot of the structural stuff done, and it is looking really, really good. So we're gonna go do an update video on that to keep you guys updated, so that you know what's going on with it. Um, like I said. That car's coming a long way real quick, so I'm excited, I'm excited for him. Um, second, the update, the, the surprise I have for you guys, uh, it's coming up, I'm gonna do a video on that, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll give you one hit. It's on the other side of this door right here, but you don't get to see it yet. Course number three, next month, it's the uh, Flashlight event in Amarillo with Joe and Van Voris Media. And uh, that is going to be interesting. Uh, the rules are a little bit tight. Um, so, so we're going to run the outlaw class, it looks, it looks like. And also, um, it's eighth mile, which this car wasn't really built for that. Uh, but we're going to try anyways. So we're going to go out there. We're going to try to have some fun and um, see what happens. Um, but first, we have to get this car tested. We got to make sure. I, I have to make sure this thing goes straight and uh, that at least most of the bugs are worked out. So we got a lot of work to do, a lot of suspension stuff, a lot of test time and seat time to get my confidence back in this thing and make sure that it's gonna perform like it used to perform. So that's the update. I'm gonna leave you guys here. It's, uh, it's crazy how much work has gone into this thing for just a couple seconds of a mess up um, but that's just what it is that's what I signed up for and um, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going I, and I'm just gonna stare at this thing for a little while uh, sometimes I just gotta sit in the car and play with the shifter a little bit just to encourage myself to keep working